Grimelda, the Very Messy Witch Written by Diana Marie Illustrated by Heather Ross Grimelda's house was black with grime and stacked with jars of mold and slime and ogre's breath and spotted snails and oozy goo in rusty pails Mess is best, I always say that's the proper witch's way. She used her broom to fly, not sweep. Her floors had dirt six inches deep. But though she said she didn't mind, sometimes things were hard to find. One night, Grimelda longed to try a recipe for pickle pie. She found the flour and egg of milk. But where did I put that pickle root? This other stuff won't do, she said. She tossed aside the scrunchy spread, the rock sauce, and the dragon fruit. She had to find that pickle root. A finding spell might do the trick if she could get her spell book quick, but it was missing from the shelf. I'll have to find that root myself. No jars of pickle root in there, not under there, not anywhere. Grimelda shoved her mess aside and flung the bed door open wide. She searched the swamp out in the yard, though all that clutter made it hard. She found last summer's bathing suit. But where'd I put that pickle root? Grimelda reached inside her tree. She found her sting with potpourri and lots of other missing loot. But where did she put that pickle root? She flew to Zelda's general store. They had one warm apple core and countless cans of pickle shoot. But not a single pickle root? She flew back home and faced the room. She had no choice. She grabbed her broom. Grimelda swept and swept some more as swarms of bats flew out the door. She placed her jars in tidy rows, then hung up all her ready clothes. She matched and put her sock away. It took all night and half a day. And while she cleaned, she found some things. Her scare spray, witch watch, kiss and rings, the silver buckle from her head, and whistle wards, her fat black cat. She found her missing other book. And finally, the pickle root! And near the jar beneath the bed was something else. What's this? she said. She scratched her head and bent down low. A comb? I lost this years ago. She combed her hair, she snagged a lump. She pulled and pulled until grew flowing. She shrieked, my spell book? In my hair? I never would have looked up there. Grimelda hugged the bed she found, then gasped and took a look around. Her house was sparkling, neat and clean. The strangest sight she'd ever seen. Grimelda knew what she must do. She flipped to page 602. She dumped in mud and thistle weeds, a scoop of rotten pumpkin seeds, a jar of slime, a clumps of coal, a pinch of pearl jam from a troll, a puff of ogre's breath, four fleas, and one big slice of moldy cheese. She mixed and mixed the potion well, that her wand and said the spell. Makate, makate, glopate, glop. Ikate, stikate, slopate, slop. A cloud of smoke swirled up, and then... Her house was nice and messed again. Grimelda breathed a happy sigh. At 
at last, she'd make that scrumptious pie, secret to gooey egg of milk. Now, where'd I put that before? 